A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. I am going to give you a real look at my life right now. I am a sweaty, hot mess. I uh, have been cleaning for the past hour, hour and a half. My bra is apparently leaking through my shirt. <laughs> my sweat from my bra is like dying my shirt. Hang on, they were changed the battery from yesterday, if you remember. Hang on one second. Okay, there we go. I have been cleaning down here. Just lit a candle, strawberry, fresh strawberry and hibiscus. Very fitting. I am going to take the mop upstairs to mop my bathroom before I hop in the shower after I'm done cleaning down here. Um, okay, I have towels. I've been doing towels all morning today and yesterday's day. Kids were supposed to take those up earlier. But I have my 4th of July stuff out and I'm trying to decide what to use. Um, so I'm gonna, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the decorations out right now or finish cleaning, shower, and come back to it. Sorry, bad lighting the other direction. Here's the dirty mess inside here. I don't know what that's for, I don't know what that's for. So I am, I was gonna start putting little things like this on here and everything is just covered in dust or salt. So this is just, you know, I could probably do a really nice, fancy, like 4th of July video where everything is all done. And I might, I might do a little quick video after this and uh, post it separately of just my 4th of July decorations. But as you know, here on my channel, we give the real and the raw. So um, I'm gonna set you down on here as we talk here. No, I'm not, that's just gonna bump you guys around. So I am just giving you a behind the scenes. Cleaning a lazy Susan is hard. It won't stand still, obviously. And I have already swept, otherwise I would just shake that out onto the floor. And Abby has already um, mopped the floors. So, all right. I am gonna give you a real look at getting ready to decorate, I guess, and a little bit of the process. Um, yeah, I, um, I like things to be clean before I put the decorations out. So I've got my little dust cloth here. I'm just going to, I actually wanna change this entire mantle. Um, and I might, when we have the paint out for the girls' bedroom, I might either paint this or take this off and paint the actual mantle. Who remembers when we built this? Years and years ago, I'm kind of leaning away from this like wood look. But for now, and like the kind of the farmhousey feel, but I can't afford to like change everything. So we'll do little bits here and there. Let's see what about to dust in here. I'm not gonna change a ton out here. I should have done this before I vacuumed. Put a little T-Swift. Maybe I'll turn that on later. Right now I do have my audiobook on. I'm listening to Rose Code. So I am going to I'm not gonna dust anymore. The shelf here will get a majority of the decorations, even though I'm not putting out very many to begin with. Um, and then we'll do a little garland here. I'll probably put the blocks right there. Um, so this is just my life. Um, Chelsea is the only one home. Ah, I'll put you on the blocks. Chelsea is the only one home, stay. She um, is upstairs. She cleaned out the chicken coop with Kaylee this morning. Then she did her chores. Then she had breakfast before like the rest of us were even up. Um, I went walking, it rained on me most of the time. It was just sprinkling rain. Um, and I forgot my watch, so I had to use a different app on my phone to track it and it doesn't like sync to my fitness 
you know, chart or whatever. So I'm kind of bummed that it's not going to record the three miles I walked. But um, yesterday when I was walking, I actually ran. And I think it kind of just made my knees really sore. So I took it easy today. Um, it wasn't sunny or anything. It was rainy. So I just, and I normally don't go on, not, I would say I would normally don't go on Saturdays. I'm only starting my routine. But I have actually gone walking six days this week. Um, and I just like that I had a streak going. And Abby actually wants to walk with me tomorrow after I get home from church. And so I might have a seven day streak of walking. I'm up to um, 30 miles this week, 30 miles last week. Um, and I'm doing pretty good. So if I start going on, I don't like the idea of going on Sundays just because I usually have a full face of makeup, my hair is done, but Abby asked me to, and I just, it sounded kind of fun to go with her. So I'll likely just take my makeup off, go on a walk with her, and then take a Sunday nap. So, but anyway, that's what I am doing today. Oh, I didn't even get around. So Chelsea's the only one home. That's where we started, we'll come back here. Chelsea's the only one home. Kaylee is out like running errands with Jacob. And then um, they're being adults. They're going to the bank. They're going to Target. Um, they're getting ready to move. Um, and Abby is at work. Um, she was feeling too tired to go this with me this morning. And it was going to cut it too close to when she needed to go to work. And she didn't want to be all sweaty. But she's at work for another... She actually might be home in a couple hours. But And Ashley, as she was planning a play date with her friends... There's a hair on my camera or on my hand. Um, I had texted the moms, hey, your girls can come over here. They can stay all day. I have no plans. Um, one of the moms, she said, well, we're headed to the lake in an hour and I would really like to take the girls because you have done it so many times over the past couple weeks. They have a senior and she's like, when she came to pick Ashley up to take her to the lake, she's like, I just, I had to let you just keep taking my daughter and keep entertaining her because so much of our focus was in um, graduation and guests coming into town and graduation parties and senior nights and and she's like, it's all done now and let me take the kids. So they're at the lake today and she's like, Ashley is a whitey, I will make sure she gets sunscreen every hour on the hour because um, I think she took her last year and she got fried. So she felt bad. So not that it was her fault. Ashley is old enough to know to put sunscreen on. So they're gone. I have no one left here but Chelsea and she just does chicken duty all day. <laughs> um, and I don't see her too much. So <coughs> this is what I'm doing. So, oh, I was gonna dump one more area that I'm gonna dust. I only have one little stand here in the kitchen that I will finally have this clean. It keeps getting put by the sink to get dried off and then people keep spilling on it. Should we throw the popcorn away? We should throw the popcorn away. Take the clip off. I keep nibbling on it and I'm like, I don't need to nibble on that. But I have this cute little stand here in the kitchen that I hide my Echo on. So we should kind of clean this off. That still has red, white, and blue. <laughs> it's kind of lame. I don't really change things out as often as I used to. But let's just dust things off here. I'm gonna dust behind that. And then, I honestly still have to go clean my bathroom, the counter and the toilet and mop my bathroom floor. The little teeny tiny space around my toilet. So I think what I might do is finish this dusting and then go shower so that I kind of feel nicer when I decorate. And right now I'm not feeling too creative and I want to feel creative and have it look nice. So I don't know, but maybe I'll want to have the house all done after I get out of the shower. <laughs> so I don't know, I haven't decided. But I have a couple hours here. I want to kind of get it done and then actually like get a chance to just relax and do nothing or edit, work on my computer. But that's how I'm starting my day, 32. <laughs> Come on, I don't know, it's just, this is what I'm doing. Turns out I kind of found my creative streak before my shower. I have pulled in these little guys um, from the front porch as well as the big one 
I've washed off the ends and that one is drying over there and I have pulled off all of these guys from there. Let me show you what that one looks like. I've got the candle going here. I haven't decorated this with anything 4th of July-ish, but I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get some hopefully blue and white um, hydrangeas to put into here, and then that one will be enough for there. I kinda want that one to be neutral. Um, but over here we have a cute little stand going. This guy always like gets knocked over. I tried to like make things <laughs> a little bit more sturdy on here as um, it kind of get, does get spun around as kids set their phones against it <laughs> to um, watch a show while they eat. Um, I also want to hang this little guy, this little garland, but I have to unscrew the little screws to put this little loop through. And I just need to get a screwdriver out to do so. I had it pulled forward to be able to reach it, but I'm done. I was gonna get a new runner um, at Hobby Lobby yesterday, but I think to save money, this one is cute enough. I like the blue just fine. I do need some napkins to go in there. So maybe I'll look for that at Trader Joe's as well. Just, just something simple and like cheap or whatever. So I'm gonna put that on there and then I don't think I'm gonna use this anchor. Uh, let's go put this cord away. I'm still just kind of cleaning as I go. And then outside, I haven't finished any of these areas, but I did put this here on. I'm gonna get a candle to put on there. Told you, she's just doing chicken duty. She was sitting on my bar. Was she? She might have one again. Here. Up, up, up. To have one to keep, this is the right one to keep. Here. She's very like, she wants to bury herself. She can't do that. Up, up. She'll go. She's more concerned as you there. Oh. Yeah, that way she can jump right out. Get move no, away. She's fine. She won't. Chelsea, she's eyeing it. Yeah, she sees you. Uh uh. She knows she's not going to. All right. <laughs> Pecking at you. Come here. Pecking at the holes in your shirt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Back inside. Oh, maybe I should just put these outside. I'll do that. I'll put those on there. That'll be kind of cute. And then I'm going to get a candle to put on that tray as well. And then in here, I have a little thing. I used to put these on the table one, but they'd always fall over. So we're just gonna put these little fireworks on here. This doesn't get bummed at all. And then I have these cute salt and pepper shakers that go right here. Do I have any more up here? Sometimes I accidentally like leave them out. Nope, put them all away. Okay, so I think I mean, I think I've done all the decorating I'm going to do. Um, just gotta find a little home for these guys for now. I don't like to leave all the messes, any messes out like this. I'm gonna take these back outside. Oh, I didn't show you one more thing. That reminds me. Okay, so, oh, have I shown you in here? I haven't even shown you in here. Okay, here's what I've done in here. Again, very, minimalistic <laughs> I'm not going overboard um, but I love the way this has turned out all I did was add the star the blocks and the garland and I think it's perfect we've got some green and some like soft colors in here I actually really really like the look of this I used to go like way more overboard but this is very like calm but festive for my this is very calm for me I really like this Kind of got the matching basket here, so. And then on this shelf, I actually am not doing very much. I'm literally doing this garland right there and the proud to be an American sign. I used to make these blocks for every single holiday, but this is probably the only one I have left. And it's because I really do like it for the 4th of July. Um, it's just, because I don't do very much for the 4th of July now. Um, and this one is just kind of enough of a bold you know, piece that I don't have to move everything around for like I do at Christmas time. Um, but it makes enough of a statement. Like it fills up a whole shelf, but all the rest don't have to get changed. My little truck guy, I need to get the little garland that goes on the trailer um, I, that's in my craft room. Um, but that's all I'm gonna do on there. Like I said, I just don't want a ton of 
red going on, but I do want the splash of festive for a few weeks. And then outside, I have a cute little garland that I've hung up there. I do wish it was a little bit more even, so maybe I will shift it down a rung. I don't know, but for right now, it's cute, and I usually actually put that on the bench here, um, but it is too long for the bench, so it looks kind of funny. Um, but I do like it there. It will get rained on um, if it does rain, but that's okay. And I don't know, I haven't decided. There is a cute rug at Hobby Lobby, like a black and white or a blue and white, like checkered rug that actually would look really cute and it would kind of come out here. So I don't know, maybe we'll go to Hobby Lobby too. I'm gonna shove this guy underneath there. It doesn't look cute. So that's what it kind of looks like for now. I don't know, maybe I can put something simple in here, like the little, uh, what do you call it? The, I need to wash it out. I'm really not wanting to clean anymore. <laughs> I'm really not wanting to clean. But I could wash that out and put the little, um, it actually goes this way. I could put that little anchor in here with maybe a little star or something, if I find something like that, just to kind of bring in some of that color right there, but not much. Honestly, I think that's all I'm gonna do. I really honestly think that's it. I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bin. Oh, no, that's not it. I'll show you what else I'm gonna, there's one more thing. I just undid that whole thing. I made this, all these things I made years and years ago or got from the tar Target dollar spot, so. <sighs> okay, I have pinwheels. Got two different sets, so, and I also found napkins. <laughs> Somehow my kids know not to use these napkins and so I just tuck them in a baggie and I put them back in the decoration bucket. Um, they do get used a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> I, apparently I still have some. So I'm gonna put those over there on the table. And I think I'm gonna put these pinwheels, my original ones from my friend, I'm gonna put those out back. I'm gonna see if Chelsea will help me put them out back. Um, the kids spend a lot of time back there and I want them to remember their grandma, in case you don't remember that story. Um, and then I'm gonna put these guys out front. All right, so out here, I'm gonna try and like maybe tape these together and just put them in this jar so that they kind of stay like that. Um, I want them to spin, I just want them to kind of, see they will spin, but I think that'll be kind of cute. Put the towels there, and then my little pinwheels are at work. Already, look how cute. I don't know why that one's not spinning, but I'm gonna turn this guy a little bit. Like that there's this is like super rocky underneath here so it's hard to get them put in there and then I put one in my flower pot and guess what I actually planted that flower <laughs> I'm already dirty I got one little pinwheel there and then I got them aligned up across the back here um, and then this is super cute and the chickens put back in her cage and I think we're done Okay, now we're gonna go put these guys out front. You can hardly see them. There's two pinwheels there and three on this side. We need to rake. They'll probably come out when we have to rake. Um, maybe that will be Jason's Monday task. <laughs> but hide the address. Um, got pink flowers up there and my cute little pinwheels down here and then um, the banner right there. And I think I can officially say I can go shower. Oh, I have to clean my bathroom. <sighs> so disappointing. I just had to wipe the counter down and mop the bathroom floor. It's a very small section that gets to va get vacuumed. They're not vacuumed, mopped. I'm so tired. I am gonna go shower. All right, I have officially cleaned myself up. It's been a couple hours. What? I know, I was gonna curl my hair, but I just was <laughs> tired and I didn't want to think about it. So I straightened it. I, th I think Jason and I are gonna go out. He just got home. She just got home from the lake about an hour ago. She had this thought when the girls came giggling to drop her off. I'm like, okay, let's play as soon as we shower. We are, but we're doing, because. Well, they we're have, leaving. So well, you one of them got in trouble. And then uh -huh. the other one. Um, uh, they're just to go to Target. 
Yeah. Oh, Cause well, I, we don't need to talk about the one that just got in trouble. <laughs> That's fine. I know. But uh, anyway, Jason and I are going to go out on a date because our game group is occupied this weekend. Yeah. So one of them, their sons might be getting engaged this weekend, which is kind of fun. But uh, I am currently trying on um, some new shoes that Jason just brought home. He brought some last night, but he forgot that I'm a wide foot and not a medium foot. So I have some Hoka's. Ashley, that can ruin my camera. Okay, Ashley just threw her blanket on me. Where is the stupid name on these shoes? Hoka's, these are Hoka's. They are by no means super cute. They're just black. Um, but the other shoes that I have, I have put the miles on them. So I need to replace them. So I'm trying these ones on. I have to have a really wide toe box. My feet do funny things. My toes do funny things. So trying these ones on first. Here is the second pair. It's a different style. So we'll see if these ones work versus these ones. It's the perk to knowing someone who can bring me shoes <laughs> to try um, any day I want. So we're going to try these on and see how they work. All right, here's these ones. These are the Hoka Bondi. Is that what it's called, Jace? Mm -hmm. And I'm frustrated because literally this one feels wonderful. My left foot and my right foot are different sizes. This one feels like I have a piece of car crunkled up cardboard paper underneath my metatarsal and my arch. And I like literally don't know I want to try what's wrong with it. Sometimes I get appropriate shoe care from this one. <laughs> he does this for all the other ladies. All day long, but I rarely get the attention myself. And how many times have you tickled my back? Not very often in our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, this stinks here. Try that. Ew, are you putting a used one in there? I'm seeing if the changing the footbed somehow changes it. It shouldn't, but if it does. Well, you lace it up for me. You're just milking it now. <laughs> Where did that shoe insert come from? Is that Kaylee's? Yeah. Oh, we are the same size. That's too tight. I'm not going to be able to judge it. No, I'm not. Because then my toes are going to go numb. And yes. Okay. All right, so I finally convinced him to come down to the new Dintai Fung. Finally and convinced me? Yes. Yeah, because I've asked you for many, uh, many weeks. There's only so often we can spend $100 on you now. It is expensive. But they just moved locations to this side of the mall. And it's in the old, um, let me come back over here where it's a little bit quieter. Um, it's in the old Maggiano's location. Uh, Maggiano's was huge family style Italian restaurant. I'm excited to go in. Um, but normally the wait to get into this restaurant, you've seen us wait with our friends before. Um, it's like a two, two and a half hour wait. It's only a 25 minute wait tonight. That's how big this restaurant is now. So I'm very excited to go in and see how big it is. But I, anyway, I'm just so excited to eat. I was quietly protective of my heart to reassure that I could break to pieces and be left alone once more. If you hadn't been so patient, you'd be easy to ignore. You put up with all my till you didn't anymore. And now I stand here calling at your door. Oh, now I stand here calling at your door. Yeah, I'm yours anywhere you want. Yeah, I'm yours. And now we're singing. I have been too self-involved Been protective of my feelings But somehow you made me fall You got underneath the surface And you shattered every wall And I know I got that feeling There's no question anymore And now I stand here Calling at your door Oh, now I stand here Alright, we are heading home There actually might be a nice sunset As we head home Excellent food. 
down. We purposely um, stopped before we felt the. I felt the light too much. Yeah, you ate too much. I cut my. Oh gosh. I let him drive and I'm regretting it already. And we've only been in the car two minutes. <laughs> um, but super good food. I'm just amazed at how big that space is and how many people are able to serve now all at once. They still have people waiting, but like the wait time is, yeah, super short. That's, so that would probably would have taken us that two hours, like you were saying before. Well, we were. I was saying when we when we came out, I was like, it's still daylight outside, and we normally are done um, eating, and, and it's dark. It's like ten o'clock, and it's it's nine o'clock now, and we've already walked around the mall for I don't know forty five minutes or so. We purposely walked it off. And we it's thought so like two days past summer solstice. What does that mean? The longest day of the year. Okay, well, whatever. Um, but we normally come down here during the summertime anyway, but normally we just have to wait two hours to get in and then anyway. Super yummy food and we have lots of leftovers that we can eat tomorrow for lunch. We walked it off at the mall. That was nice. Yeah, I feel way less heavy <laughs> right now than I did when we first walked out of the restaurant, so that was good. I didn't wear my watch to um, the park today when I went on my walk, and so I didn't track my steps. I had to like, I tracked it on another fitness app to like say that I was, to know that I was at the one mile, two mile, three mile marks. Um, so I knew how much I was walking, but it's not, it's not converting it over to my fitness app, so it's showing that I've only walked like a mile and a half today. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so bad. That's um, I know, so like counted as a loss on my app, um, but I am tracking it in other ways just to know how much I've walked on a weekly basis. So I, it's just more motivating to me. I'm like, oh, I might hit 30 miles this week, which I, I'm over 30 miles for the week. Um, so anyway, I think we are gonna sign off with you guys. I'm exhausted. Uh, see if Ashley is awake enough to watch another episode of Heartland. Um, I am betting she's half asleep right now. She pretended when she got home from the lake that she was awake enough. Your brother. <laughs> is that my brother sending pictures? Yeah, his brother is in Alaska where they all grew up and um, he took his whole family there and they're seeing all the things. I'm literally the only person in his entire family who did not grow up in Alaska. No, Kristen isn't. So the one that's there, his wife didn't grow up there and I didn't grow up there. Oh, but, but Marnie did. And so did my and sister. So sister. Yeah, you're right. yeah, and so I have, they all like, oh my gosh, that business is still in, you know, in business. Yeah, it's the same family. And oh my gosh, that's the cabin. And I'm like, I have no idea what any of these things are. They're doing a group chat. So I'm a little check, left man. out of I the conversation. Day, so yeah. Maybe so maybe he'll go and take a picture of the house. Yeah, I would like to see a uh, picture and a video of the cabin. I actually told him to do that. I said, you don't have to be in the video, but for Jason's sake, I don't know that we're going to get up there anytime soon, um, but I would love to see your cabin that you like grew up going to. It's a true cabin. Yeah, it's a true... You have an outhouse. True, uh, true Alaskan no cabin. No running water. It's fire stove. The outhouse is on the out how out of the house. Yeah, you have to go up to get a stream. And the fit. You just get you put that in the uh, cooler. Yeah. And then you that's how you get your water. Yeah. So a family friend bought the cabin when you moved down here. Is that what happened? And they still own the cabin. Yeah, they've done some fix ups. Yeah. So I want his brother to get me a video of the cabin when they go and stay there. Apparently, it has all the same curtains, which are probably from the '60s. Yeah. Because they were old when we were in the cabin. Well, and his. They told Nate that like there's like a game that's still there. There was like something oh, we that was still. We played card games. We played pit. Yeah. We played. Uh, there was like stuff still there that was there when when you were little. We were kids. Yeah. Damn. I want to see this stuff. It's I know, so, so I, awesome. I need to remind his brother to take a video of it. And whatever day he does that, I'll throw that into the video. Um, I'll talk about it. But um, anyway, so if you hear my phone it's going off, it's because it's his brother. So um, maybe when Ashley will probably be the really lucky one, and she'll get to start traveling with us. <laughs> she'll be the only one left at home. And hey, Ashley, you want to go to Alaska with us? That's right, why let's go. The youngest. I know. All right.
right, well, we're gonna sign off with you guys. Um, I'm holding, trying to hold my phone or my camera with my right arm. I'm probably gonna get tennis elbow with my right arm now, but uh, I'm trying to avoid, you know, using my left. But we're gonna sign off with you, and we will see you guys soon. Probably Monday with the Costco haul. Probably. Probably. I didn't go yesterday without Jason. Um, we had enough milk and enough bread to last the weekend. And I just said, kids, eat the rest of the apples. Like, we're, we're, we have enough food in the fridge and the freezer. Anyway, signing off with you guys tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.